Yo, what's going on? Right now we're about to uh, leave Monrovia alignment. Just got the 71 T aligned. Got it buttoned up. And Chris from Overcrest, Minnesota. Oh, sh I literally almost just ran into Chris right now because I couldn't see him. But I was talking to you guys. So we're about to head up Azusa Canyon right now. He leaves um, to Minnesota in a few hours. So we're gonna see if we can sneak in a cannon run uh, in just a second. So let's go. So Chris in the front has a 1972 911T with a 3.2 short stroked motor. And I just drove that when we were up in Utah and I believe it was Escalante and it felt incredible. It felt really, really great. Because I believe that this one this 1971T is a 2.2 and it feels relatively decent. I mean, it's not super fast, but you know, for as light as this car is, it actually does a pretty decent job. And I have to say, I've learned to love this car um, over the last week, but you know, it's still something that I'm still getting used to. So, um, but if you, you can hear Chris's car, it sounds really amazing. Canyon, which is my favorite road. I believe it's one of Mike's favorite roads. Yeah. And this is Chris' first time up here. It's awesome. Yeah. Dude, this road If is I could so have something like park. this, the party 15 minutes. minutes from my house, <laughs> I can drive like two and a half hours and it's not even close. Absolutely. <laughs> it's it's incredible. It gets more technical yeah, the higher you get up. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. it's yeah. so good. But yeah. we're gonna jump into your car. So you have the 3.2 short stroke. Yep. Uh, what else, uh, what kind of other upgrades? Cams, PMOs, carburetors. It's probably close to proper, 280, 300 horsepower proper, somewhere in there. It's a car that you have to drive with your foot. Yeah. All right, so I'm about to jump in Chris's car and oh, you gotta pull it harder than that. <laughs> Old car problems. <laughs> this, don't even, I don't know, bro. Don't even ask me. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. So good. That's Ooh. real power too.
die of it. It is, it is <laughs> fun. You can like, literally beat this thing as hard as you want to. It is. Like, <laughs> this one is, it definitely is more, it takes more effort to drive the red one. Just because it's a lot more looser and squirrely not and power. not as much power. So basic, well, the thing is like, because it doesn't have a lot of power, you're just kind of diving into every turn. And, yeah. um, I got it to step out. Like, yeah, no, you can. Out, you yeah, can for it. sure. You have to work for it. Yeah. Though. You really have to work I for it. I feel like this car is just one of those cars that is just, like I said, the more you drive it, the more you become like accustomed to all of the flaws that it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like a character flaw where it's not like a completely bad thing. You just have to learn how to, it's not going to change for me. You right. have to change for it. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, kind of yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes me want to bleed my brakes though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The brakes are a lot better in this scenario. Oh. Well, next time I come out, you can drive that when it's not full of shit. Yeah, There's yeah, so much yeah. stuff up front. It's under, feels under dampened up there and loose in the front end. Just like bouncy. Yeah. It's not like that when it's Air empty. Park, <sighs> the sound. The best, is good. Definitely the best feel. Of the, the sound is good. Feels good. The only issue that I have with all Porsches almost is just pedal placement. I can't I heel toe. I this go heel toe, does nothing. It's easier than that car to heel toe. <laughs> I, you know what? I just go like Wait, they're not the same pedal? Slight. They are, but this brake pedal is really firm. Oh, yeah. Right, right. But this car, you can't you can't rotate your foot over because the brake pedal only moves this much. Dude, if if I can just dial in every pedal placement for, for Porsches, I'd be super, super happy. But other than that, man, it drives wonderfully. Sounds great. And the brakes, only the brakes just make me nervous. And he's got all that Utah dust still. Super, super funny. I like, I like he said the 2.4 on here. <laughs> he's got a sandbag in a little bit. <laughs> nice. All right, well, let's head down. Can't right. waste too much time. Chris took off and uh, he did a nice little takeoff and I missed it of course because I was enjoying the moment. But that's it man, Chris, safe journey's back home. Um, what an amazing past week at the rally. I mean, we just can't stop talking about it, but um, I'll do my best to try to interpret what happened in a way that is easy, easily uh, consumable and, um, and hopefully we get more awesome people out there next year. So that's it for this one. Peace.